And while some people were surprised by the three nominees, I don't think many people would argue that Lika Martins was a worthy winner. But what, what do you think of her as a player and, uh, and the years that she had and her move to Barcelona now? Yeah, I think Lika's a great player. I mean, I'm one of, Anita Santos is one of my best friends and she plays on the same team as her with Rosengard. So she spoke highly of her. I've not seen, I've not seen Lika play live, necessarily. I played against her when I was in the Cyprus Cup with England. Um, and I think she was a worthy winner, but I also think there's certain players like Shanice Van Sanden, who's a magnificent player, you know, she was one of the best players in, in, the, in the Euros, and I think some people like her get kind of off the radar, you know, I think Lika was a worthy winner out of the three that was there, um, but I do think with the women's game, there's not enough commercial aspects surrounding it, so with the men's game, when you saw the best 11 with the men, there's no argument that those 11 were the best, you know, Ronaldo and Messi was always going to be those two. Whoever won, no one would say, well, actually, like Iniesta's a fantastic player, and I'm sure for him it's been difficult coming third for the last 10 years, if that makes sense with the Ballon d'Or. But at the same time, I think people, were, if it was Messi or Ronaldo, no one would say, that shouldn't have happened, you know. And what makes me sad is that whenever something happens with the women's game, there's always something negative surrounding it, you know, and I can see why. But I just think there needs to be more, there still needs to be more televised games, because that's how you create an opinion of a player with the television. And...